taking the time to take action. This may seem obvious, but sometimes we need a schedule before we can succeed. If we are not aware of how we are spending our time, then it can become extremely challenging for us to carve out the time that we need to take in order to work on achieving our goals. You need to be willing to take a step back and examine your life in terms of increments of time. For example, think about the time obligations that you have that are not disputable. What are the things that you have to do and set the time aside for every day? Whether you are the type who thrives with a strict routine or you simply like to live your life as it happens, there are undoubtedly going to be times that you have to set aside for certain tasks. Grocery shopping, going to work, cooking, sleeping, and things like that are all indisputable ways that you are obligated to spend your time. Take these into consideration and give it your best guess as to how much time you spend per day on those things. Come up with more if you have to. Consider all of your obligations and think about how much time that leaves you free throughout the day. It's actually surprisingly easy to find the time to work on a plan that you are especially passionate about. If your mind is focused enough on working on that plan, it is going to seek out the time that you need in order to work on it. It can be useful to give yourself a minimum amount of time that you are willing to work per day on your plan. However, you should also have the maximum amount of time. It can be dangerous and time-consuming to get so absorbed with one goal. Becoming single-minded can often lead to success, but not if you are sacrificing too much along the way. There is a delicate balance to these things, and this will be discussed more in depth later on in the training. Once you know how much free time you have during your day, think about what you can do to work on your goal in that amount of time. If it's not a lot of free time, think about the things in your list that might be flexible enough to allow you to work on your plans. If even that seems too difficult, maybe you should set aside time on days that you have more freedom so that you can work on your goals at least once a week as opposed to increments every day. The trick here is to find something that actually works for you and you alone that will help you to remain motivated to succeed. If you are able to take steps, measurable steps toward achieving your goals, success is inevitable. The key here is consistency. Even if you are not working on your plans daily, as long as you are constantly making progress as opposed to getting discouraged or distracted and not working on your goal at all, you will succeed. The fastest way to failure is to not even try. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.